All right, this one is for balance, balance exercises. You're gonna see me move from here. I might go there. And the reason is this is a foam padding under my feet. This one's a regular yoga mat, but it's harder and straight to the floor. Back here, I have a little carpet under up here. And there's nothing straight floor. Hardwood floor up here. All right, so I might just see where I wanna go. I might keep it simple. A progression of what, this is gonna look very simple. And a progression of a very simple exercise, it would be to do it on the foam mat. Right now I'm on the floor. I might progress to the carpet. Carpet's a little soft and not as hard. And then elevate up. I would get one right over there and look how simple it is. So I'm going to go back to the carpet just so you can see. Feet. You're welcome. So I pretend my foot is a rectangle. I'm going to put my weight on my left side. This foot's going to come up. So I'm pretending that this foot is a rectangle. I am doing that thing with your toes where you spread them out a little. They're not like this, but I want them flat. So that little pinky toe that sometimes goes this way or the big toe that could go this way. You, if you need to use your hands, what I do is I go like this, I spread my toes a little, push it, pull it back, and then let them land how they land. If you need to, you take your actual hands and fix your toes. I, I ain't playing. Fix them. Straighten them. To the, to the best of their ability. Uh, speak to your healthcare professional before making any changes to your diet or exercise program. Do not do anything. Clearly, that if, if they are uh, need more help than just manual adjustment, then that would be your primary focus to do alternate exercises, starting at the toes and the foot and help, help yourself out there. Right now, I just want my toes flat on the floor, as straight as they can be. And I'm going to make sure that the outer edge of my foot is aligned, in a line, straight, this way. I am, I am, let me show this way. Lifting my arch. So if you have an arch, and you find that it is flowing and you need help, then consciously lift, hold up strong at the arch. Then you hold this leg up strong, strong, strong. You can have a slight bend at the knee holding up strong. Make sure that you uh, have good alignment throughout, including at the hips, up, 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 shoulders back and down imaginary string above your head lifting you up to the sky and we're gonna lift and hold for 30 so 30 29 14, 13, ah, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. That's, um, that was a song. Um, do the same to the other side. All those things I just said to that side, do it to this side. I already straightened my toes by just spreading them out, putting them down, and then letting them adjust themselves. But I'm just going to do this in case somebody out there is feeling too shy to bend over and touch your toes. And maybe, you know, you got to get down a little lower. I did just go like this because I can't. It's okay to need to do this. Just do whatever you can. The whole thing is just show up and try something. Just try something. Of course, under... Um, 
proper care. Uh, if you need your professional to instruct you what you can do and can't do, then get that. Um, I'm aligning the outer edge of my foot so that it's straight. This way, slight bend in the knee, I'm holding strong uh, my arch up, holding up, 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 up. Make sure my hips are straight, shoulders back in, down, invisible string above my head, lifting me up to the sky. Hold for 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So let's say I was about to fall, right? I need a little tap. Just come back up. Fall. Come back up. Um, let's say you need more support. Let's say you want to try this out, but you need more support. Don't. If you need to start here like this, still do all the same things with the foot and everything. Boom. Hold. But eventually, try to do less. Okay? Less and less. Have it. You can have it right there. Okay? That or the wall. Um, make sure it's sturdy. You don't want to slip. You know. Um, that's why I guess the wall would be better for some. Um, now I'm not going to do these next two completely. Let me get my bowl. I'm going to do a single leg with internal and external rotation. And then I'm going to do a single leg lift and chop, but just examples of each. Single leg, internal and external rotation. So once you feel comfortable with that last exercise I just did, or find out maybe this one's better. So same rules on that foot. I'll pretend it's a rectangle. This is aligned, holding strong at the arch, slight bend in the knee if I need. Hips straight and shoulders back and down, invisible string above my head. Now, this is single leg with internal and external rotation. So the leg that I'm lifting goes, okay? And that's it. Now, one thing I'm gonna add to this is a four to one count being that it's just the beginning. We're not gonna rush it. So you're gonna go one, two, three, four, I'm up. One, two, or first I'm gonna put it out here and say one, two, and come back and down in one. And then I would do that 12 to 20 times. So like this. Um, the single, regular single leg balance, 30 seconds, three times on both sides. And then this one would be like that. Like I said, one, two, three, four, one, two, and one. Same rules on the other side. One, two, three, four, one, two, and one. And do that 12 times. So on both legs, so like that. One, two, three, four, one. Here, one, two, and one. Is the right side. One, two, three, four, one, two, and one. That's the left side, and that's one. Then do it again. You can either alternate it if you feel like one needs a break more than the other, or just straight up do 12. Okay, this gets tired. It starts off, it can for some start off pretty easy. You could do the count. The, the point is not how fast or how many. It's, it is 
that pace. One, oh, one, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, two, three, four. One, two, two. Okay. Then we got a single leg lift and chop. Single leg lift and chop. Same rules, strengthening. Just align that foot. Get it strong. Mm -hmm. All the rules. Okay. I'm going to come up off this foot. And I'm starting here. One, two, three, four. One, two, one. Two, two, three, four. One, two, two. Three, two, three, four. One, two, four. So that you would keep going with 12. So 20. The other side. Example. Same rules, everything that I've already stated apply. Okay, that's why it's a lift and chop. Look, one, two, three, four. This lifted, chop. One, two, three, four. One, two, two. Three, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, two, three, four. One, two. You're going to find all that working. I just got to write down for myself to hurry up and get this wobble board. So, alter, alternations to that. I'm on the mat. Balancing is a little harder. So, I'm going to do the lift and chop. One, two, three, four. One, two, one. One, two, three, four, one, two, one. Okay. Um, well, I did the internal external rotation. Let's see this. One, two, three, four, one, two, one. Feel better on my feet, not gonna lie. Um, but so there's that all of that, right? Then there's something called the wobble board. They have that, so Imagine this, slice them in half, and they put like a disc over it. So it'll be like this, disc over it, and then you stand on that. So you've got this type of balance at the bottom, the disc that you stand on, it will be flat, um, but you gotta center yourself. Just standing on it two feet is your wobble. Possibly, but you got to try not to and then you try to do one foot on there and the other so you'll see that some because I got to go get it But there's a few Balance exercises that you could try out and next we're gonna do A decor balance Not sack speed speed agility and quickness. I laid out my agility ladder already But it's gonna be an indoor one. So we'll see how that goes and then um reactive it's gonna be on that purple thing down there i'm gonna take that take it down a couple of levels because i i want to be careful on my knees and i i didn't really do so you you can jump up like this hold for five seconds and come down you jump down off it hold for five seconds and then there's a hop up now the hop up I need to condition myself to prepare. So I'm not gonna, I have in the past hopped up to a higher level than that, but not today, I'm not. I, I used to do it at the bench at the park. Um, today I'm gonna actually take that down a few levels and do a little hop up like that. I might even wanna just hop up here on this mat. I'm not sure yet. Or put my shoes on and just do it on the floor. So let's get into which one I want to do next. Reactive, uh, plyometrics. 